हेलो गाइस दिस इज हर्षवर्धन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल हर्ष सीवीएस गाइस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन ओके गाइस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स ऑफ द सीआरटी In general, why we are going to discuss about the features? Suppose assume that you have decided to buy a smartphone. Now, what are the features that we will see? We will see the camera, and we will see the battery. We will see the speed. We will see the internal storage. We will see the some of the features which are the which are required for the essential better performance of our system. Like that, for the CRT also we are having some type of features. that we need to check before buying the crt for a particular application okay now what is a, where does the crt will present crt will present at the in the in the cro what is a cro cro is a device which is used to display the sinusoidal or some input wave forms right it is the heart of the crt crt is a defined as a cathode ray tube which is a heart of a crt why it is called as a heart of crt we will look see it is a electron gun such that this electron gun will release the electrons in such a way that these electrons are deflected by this deflection plates and they will strike the screen now when when the electron is deflected and electron touches the screen uh, we need to uh, the, those electrons are need to be displayed how it can be displayed it can be displayed by using a phosphorus screen because as phosphorus will enable the sparking nature when an electron is bombarded on with the screen now what will happen when an electron strike fastly the screen at the at the phosphorus screen what will happen a spark will come this indicating that suppose assume that you have provided a sinusoidal input now what will happen electron electron huge amount of electrons will bombard on the screen in the form of this it forms a continuous pattern and it will be displayed for us on the viewing screen it is the process that it is happening it is the block diagram of the crt okay now crts are available in number of types and sizes to suit individual requirement suppose if i need to use in a laboratory i need to have different features if i need to use for a military application i need to have different features if i need to use for high frequency radar application i need to have different features in order based upon the requirements we will have different different types and sizes now we will discuss the important features these five are the important features regarding to the crt size phosphor operating voltage deflection voltage and viewing screen now we will discuss about in these type this five in detail okay now coming to first one size what is the size size refers to diameter of the screen from here we can clearly see that our screen is in the form of circle right i mean semi circle so our size is indicating the diameter of this screen okay now crts for the oscilloscope are available in sizes of these are the sizes in which our oscilloscope sizes or crt sizes are defined 1 2 3 5 7 these are the inches okay now 3 inches is the most common for the portable instrument among the 1 2 3 5 7 inches the most preferable and portable use it is 3 inches okay now suppose i have bought uh, i have bought a crt which is named with 5 gb1 from here what is the first number is indicating the first number is indicating the diameter or the size of a tube it is indicating that my crt tube is a 5 inch tube okay now now coming to the phosphor what is a phosphor i have already said screen is coated with 
fluorescent material called phosphor. Now we need to observe some phenomena that are occurring in the phosphor. What are those? This material determines the color and persistence. Now we came, came into the term called color. In, our, in general, our lab we will see the color of a green. Okay, based upon the requirements or based upon the applications, we have different colors like blue, green, blue, green, white, red, orange, based upon the applications. Now coming to what is a persistence? In order to understand the concept of persistence, assume for a long time we have earned our CRO. Now we have suddenly switch off the CRO. Now what will happen? The image or the pattern that is appearing on the screen of the CRV will diminish slowly and it will clear. Okay, the time that is required for the CRO to diminish or to eliminate the complete signal when the CRV is turned off. The time is called a persistence. Okay, now see white color. The white color trace is also used for TV applications. Blue white orange and yellow is also used for the radar applications. Now from here we can clearly, clearly see the definitions of a persistence. Persistence refers to length of time. That length of the time trace will remain on screen after signal has ended. When the signal has ended how much time the trace will remain on the screen it is called a persistence. Persistence is in general expressed as a short, medium, long. Short is indicating that the trace will exist for a short amount of time. Long is indi indicating that the trace will exist for a long amount of time. Okay. Now, what are those? What are these indications? P1. P P1 is indicating that. See, now divide it into very two words. Every word into two words. Now see, green medium, P1 is indicating the color is a green and the persistence is medium. P2, color is blue green, persistence is medium. P5, color is blue, persistence is very very short. P11, color is blue and persistence is short. Okay, now if I am indicating that 5G P1, I have already said what are the first 5 is indicating. The first 5 is indicating that it is a 5 inch shoe. Here P1. P1 is indicating that a green medium. Okay. Green and the persistence is medium. Okay. Now we will see the applications where these persistence are used. I will We will use the medium persistence in our general purpose. I mean in the laboratories. Now we will use the long type of persistence in the transients. Transients will occur at a very fast moment. In order to look transient for in detail or in order to observe the transient in a detailed manner, we will use the long persistence. And coming to the short. Short. See, assume uh, short. When we will use the short persistence, high speed phenomena prevents the interface caused when one image persist and overlap with the next one. Now assume that there is a screen. In the screen there is a one waveform existence in the here. Now what will happen? There is a another waveform that is coming and it is going to strike the screen. Now what will happen? If my the waveform which is on the screen will stay for a long time, the Coming waveform will overlap with the existence waveform and the image will get interfaced. In order to avoid this problem, my screen should be very short. These are the used for very high frequency applications like radar and airport authorities. In those purposes, we use this high speed or uh, very short persistent screens. Okay, so assume that some one signal, one signal is existence on the screen and another signal is coming to hit the screen. Now, that time in which the another signal is going to hit screen, in the meantime, the persistent signal should vanish from the screen. 
such that second signal will display neatly. Okay, it is called a persistence. Now, operating voltages. We are having a in the CRT we are having different different components like heater, grid, focusing anode, and accelerating anode. Now we will see the required amount of voltage that is required in order to work these four components. First one, in order to work heater, I need to give 6.3 volts of AC or a DC with 600 milliamperes. In order to work grid, I need to give 14 volts to 200 volts. In order to work focusing anode, I need to give 100 volts to 1100 volts. In order to work accelerating anode, I need to supply 600 volts to 6000 volts. Very very high voltage that we are using in the CRT. Okay. Now, now call the deflection voltages. That de so in order to deflect the beam, I can use either AC or DC. Now, what is a deflection? See here. Assume it is a CRO. Okay, distance through spot moves on screen proportional to DC. Suppose initially my spot is here. I need to move to here. The distance that is moved by the spot from position A to position B. It is proportional to the voltage that I have given at the input side. Okay, now. Now at the final we are going to discuss about the viewing screen. Viewing screen is a Gla glass face plate in our CRV we are having a this type of nature right it is a viewing screen inside wall is coated with a phosphor this back side is coated with a phosphor okay now standard size this standard size this vertical should be 8 centimeters and this horizontal is around or approximately 10 centimeters this is the features of the CRT that we need to know in order to apply for the different different applications. Okay, guys, this is up to now for the CRT features, and we will meet, meet in the next lecture. Okay, guys, in order to get the PDF, I have already shared the link in the description. You can get the from the Telegram group. Okay, so you can access the complete PDF from here. Guys, please like, share and if you are watching my channel for the first time, please subscribe and press on the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications. Guys, please share among your friends. Okay? Thank you guys.